Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's put some fog into this sunny day. Uh, so fog generally is going to be whiter the further away it is and the, the higher up it is. So there's several ways of doing this. You can use various controls like HSL and so on. Um, you can use pixel layers but I'm going to use a rectangle of the shape layer. And so I go to the rectangle here and make sure the snapping's on here so I'll get it neatly into the thing. So literally go from there down to let it snap into there. See the guidelines, red and green, telling me I've got it spot on. Now then, the blend mode for this, I'm going to use screen, which makes it lighter. So white's going to stay white, black's going to be invisible. So I want a gradient down here. So the black at the bottom will show me the picture. The white at the top will be the fog going away into the distance. So I'm just going to go to the gradient tool here and literally draw from the top down to the bottom. There we go. But because this is a grey here, it's showing me something of it, but I need it to be black. So let's go up to the here, click on this one, and I want this end here and change this to black. The way the gradients work has been changing, by the way, uh, across versions. So You'll have to use it whatever version you've got, but it should work. But see, here's the effect we've got here. And because it's it, it's a gradient, I can always change it. I can grab that middle point and drag it up and down. Or I can add, just click on extra points there and add ones on there. Or just, I can literally take one of those, click on that and hit delete, and it disappears off it. So that gives us a lot of control for that. If I want to mask off some areas down here, I can just add a mask here. So I click on the mask layer. And this is add a mask. Let's open up there here. So if I paint black on this, it will go through to the original picture. So I get to the paintbrush. And I look at the opacity. I don't want 100% opacity. So I'm going to take that and just hit the number 3 to 30. In fact, what I'll do is a way of doing this. Because I'm going to paint black on this to get it through. As you can see at 100%, you can see what it's going to be. It's going to be too much. It's just going to blot it straight through. Hardness also going to turn this down because I want a sort of a softer edge to the brush. But I can literally hit the number keys to get to preview what's going to be. It's fit 2 for 20%. That's not very much. 3, 30%. What about 4 for 40%? Yeah, maybe that's all right. Yeah, no, maybe 3. So I can literally, I don't, I can just, so I can just paint on this here. And that brings this in. I can even do a little bit back here in those areas there to add a little bit dark. Maybe, maybe I'll add a little bit more on here. I'll hit 1 for 10%. So I'll add another 10% to this here. So I got that haze going away into the distance. So you could leave it at that and that's okay. The good thing by the way about using the rectangle, if I click on this again and I click on the gradient tool, this is still here. That's why I used a rectangle. I can always go back and change it. It's non-destructive, which a pixel layer would you'd have to start from the beginning. So what I can do as well on top of this, I'm going to put in an extra layer here. Because fog can be a bit blotchy and stuff like that. In this layer here, I'm going to preset this to overlay. I could use some of the ones below. But nothing's happened at the moment because it's an empty layer. I'm going to put some noise into it. I'm going to use the destructive one. I could use a non-destructive one here, but I'll just use this one because it's so easy to change. So it's noise. Uh, and I go to Perlin noise. The reason for this is that for ordinary noise, you just it's at the pixel level. It may be too small. This you can change the size of it. So in fact, I'll zoom into this so you can see the effect. So there, if I change zoom, you can see the blotchiness changing. And if I go all the way down, it goes right down to the pixel level, so I can literally choose whatever level I like. So let's see, I go down a bit to just around about one pixel. Let's see what these other things do. Let's go in a bit closer to see this. So if I change the octaves back this way, see it's getting harsher. And if I go that way, it's getting softer, so perhaps softer is better here. And persistence. Going back, okay, that's harsher as well. So I need just a soft, just hazy thing. Let's see, we're right at the pixel level here. So I can apply that. If I don't like it, by the way, I can just go back to the Perlin noise again and I can just do another one. 
So this has now put in some blotchings into the fog to make it look a bit more realistic. And because it's purely noisy, it's got a randomness to it as well. So there we go. There we have our little bit of fog added to the picture and we can always go back and change any of those parts of it. So that's it and thank you very much for watching.